Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and he is him, Carmelo Hayes. Doesn't matter if you love him or capital H-I-M. Uh, he is a modern era focused showboat trainer ability. Yes, they're doing this. Uh, 26k purple moves and black moves both start with four more move points so i guess i guess this is the thing the next character is going to be red and green i guess uh links nxt any color moves start with one more move point modern era gems do five percent more damage and just the one standard set of gear uh, i got four different builds i'm going to take a look at here all with a different focus the first is available at four star we are going to do a super sub build the single leg Boston Crab 9 MP submission is the finisher. Generate 44 random submission gems and do 318,026 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into reinforced. The Pele Kick 2 MP deal 84,866 damage and increase your yellow MP by eight. And the Double Knee Face Breaker 4 MP. Deal 1,796,690 damage and increase your red MP by three. Um, Mello says to LA Knight, what's up? Entourage for this, we are going super sub. Zombie AJ for three more turns. Tatanka for two yellow MP and the 100% more damage to the yellow submission. Tech Drew for 50% and one more turn. And then Logan Paul, I don't have him built up yet, but he's any color submissions do 50% more damage and an extra turn. So this would be an eight turn sub if he was built. For the belts, I'm kind of keeping it as the, uh, the, the other build. For the other build I'm gonna run, it's a super sub build, so you don't really need a whole bunch. We're gonna do double takedowns. I do have that. Uh, take down to 200 percent or looked for some uh, red move substats but we have beat his tour with this build and now we are going to show you how he plays So we're doing 6.6 .6 mil with the double knee face breaker just off of the belt alone, no entourage. Uh, Pele kick is 2 MP, so gonna easy load the sub, kick him in the face. Single leg Boston Crab. He is from Boston, so it makes sense. He is from Boston, so it makes sense. It's 890 a turn. And then increase your red MP by three. And that's going to load the Pele kick. And that's going to load the sub. So kind of neat that it's like two gain MP moves. Loads everything up. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. Uh, but we're going to run these red moves with a move damage focus and bring in the five star move. So a slight variation on the build we just took a look at. We're taking out the submission and bringing in the five star move, which is the cutter 7 MP. Deal 130,359 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. And this is going to be the red move damage focus. Uh, showboat Balor for 100% and plus 2 red MP. Batista, or Baptista, depending on who you ask, uh, for 1 red move point and 50% more damage. Snoop for 25, Gooker for 25, and we're keeping with the takedown belt. And uh, I have no idea what this red move is going to hit for, so let let's see. So 485k, increase your yellow MP by 8. It's 
stunned. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's lots. And just like that, we we have a four turn stun going on the first, that's, wow, okay. I hope y'all got an anti-stun with padded medals, cause sheesh, sheesh. Now the, the downfall is going to be swiping to get a pin. It's going to be, you know, you stunning your opponent to oblivion. So you just have to be mindful of the fact that you're going to have to be, you know, swiping to, to pin in this case. But good lord. Good lord. 10.2 mil and a four turn stun on the first turn. If if you're into stun moves and move damage, if I uh, got a character for you, um, I'm trying not to get like oh my god big numbers, um, starstruck. But okay, okay, Mello, we got two more builds to look at, so let's see if we can find something. Let's see if we can find something else. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at five star. We are running the triple yellow. So the submission, which we've already seen, the cutter, which we have already seen, bringing in the fedora frog splash. Tony D. Wen. Um, deal 85,983 damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will increase your yellow gem damage by 55% for two turns on every countdown turn and make 23 reinforced gems into yellow gems at the end of the countdown. Entourage for this. John Cena for 2 MP and 45% more to the yellow gems. Kofi for yellow MP. Hall of Fame Yokozuna for 100% more to the reinforce and a Hall of Fame Taker for 12,000 flats to the yellows. We have switched over to a Fury build. Um, so two sets of Fury 2s, that's 80% gem damage, 30% from the strap. The Rhonda's Baddest Jacket Plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. And having the stun lock should buy us enough time to be able to cycle this and hit for a big number. And they gave me a yellow match. Bless up. So we're going to double stack this too, just to be even more disrespectful with it. I miss what made that a fedora frog splash. I might have to check the tape here. Check the tape. Also, we're doing 116,000 for Yellow Gem. Uh. Oh, it it doesn't actually do anything special. Okay, well. That's all it is, and that's all it's going to be. Uh, so 116,000 to our Yellow Gems. We're going to put out the submission. That's going to boost them by an extra 100%. They're going to turn into Reinforced Gems, which is going to be another 100% from Hall of Fame Yoko. And then another 110% from the Juggernaut Gems. This might be a go slow so we can see. Two twenty-six. Two twenty-six. So that's ten and a half mil. Is he gonna kick out of this? Three, no. <laughs> Psych. So ten point five mil with a double stack. On turn three, we've got some builds, folks. We've got some builds. Uh, but there's one more that also does 10 million damage that I'd like to take a look at. So let's go set that up. Last build I wanted to take a look at is available at six star. We are running the triple green. 
Green one seven MP pump kick deal one hundred thirty three thousand eight hundred thirty nine damage and make twenty two random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal one hundred thirty four K damage and make two random gems into heal gems of strength one hundred seventy eight thousand six hundred sixty six at the end of the countdown. Green 2, the tilt a world takedown, also 7 MP, deal 178,666 damage and decrease all countdown gem timers by one. And the six star move, Mellow Don't Miss. Is there a reason they can't call it nothing but net? Um, it's a combo move. Oh, I have to check my notes. Combo moves, combo moves, combo moves. Uh, so combo moves. <coughs> Two effects triggered one after another, only given to focused and aggressive superstars. Works in faction boss, and they can be dodged. You would dodge both parts. Um, deal 223,333 damage plus 89,333 bonus damage for every heal gem. Then, this is the combo part, deal 107,200 damage and make 40 heal gems into green gems. So a full recycle and heal. Entourage for this, steal for green MP. Tech Rhonda for 150% more damage to our heal gems. Tech Cena because I don't have Motu Becky. I am 100 shards short. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh, we're going to get an extra countdown gem here. So we're going to get 46 heal gems instead of 44 when all is said and done. And one chew free kid heal gems do 15% more damage. Okay, so JBL has 16 million health. We're gonna do the pump kick. Tilt a world takedown. And then all of our heal gems. I'm going to slow it down for you so we can see. Mellow, don't miss. Oh, that is the nothing but net. Okay. I don't know why they can't call that that. But uh, 10 million damage on the heal gems. 10 million damage. He's probably going to kick out, which is totally fine. I want him to. He can just go ahead and do whatever it is he wants to do. Because Mellow don't miss. We're just going to full recycle this. And they're heal gems, not leech gems. So we're going to get all that health back, even though he doesn't have any. It's a beautiful day to be the NXT champ. And that's all it is. And that's all it's going to be. Go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Carmelo Hayes. He is him. And judging by the fact that we had three different builds doing 10 million damage and he has a super sub, I would say he's for sure him. It's going to be very interesting in the focused showboat department because both him and Regal our focused show boats with the NXT link. Um, Regal is is reality era. Carmelo is modern. So we've had a lot of really good show boats come out lately. And they're all like solid. They all do different things. We just had Taker with a high stun move damage build. Regal does insane gem damage. And now we have Carmelo Hayes that is incredibly versatile. Uh, trainer ability at 26k. Purple and black moves start with four more move points. And again, we saw three different 10 million damage builds. He is your trial character for the week. So please test him out. Let me know in the comments what kind of builds you like. I forgot to mention that in this last um, build, I actually took the belt off of him, as you can see on the right hand side of your screen. I just said we don't need it. And we didn't. But definitely a very strong competitor in the showboat division for the men.
Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Deep, 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 deep.